all right guys so i uh i finally got me uh hands on <laughs> mickey hands on so yeah um <clears throat> it's actually me daughter's um some of you already knew that uh, my daughter was getting one and it was sort of like it was a like a joint present from a few of us and uh yeah it's i mean this is the first time i've sort of like come into contact with one full stop really and you know i mean i'm so, i'm still coming away with the same sort of feeling that it's a lot of money for for a smartwatch but then in saying that i've got a a 500 pound um seiko watch it's a you know it's an arctura kinetic that cost me 500 pound scratch great my 500 pound watch has got scratches in it you know i mean i've had it 10 years and more probably more no probably about 12 13 years now you know it's scratched all the rest of it but you know it's what happens it's a wearable piece of equipment you know so you know you throw that aside and then you think well what about the charging you know um my daughter's seen you know she's actually getting more than she expected charge wise which i think is the general consensus anyway when you look at uh, look online at the blogs and what people are insane in that so you know then you put that aside and you're left with at the end of the day it's a smartwatch it's going to give you notifications it's going to track your sports fitness and you know it's going to tell you you know that sort of thing it's, it's just you know i'm i'm impressed with it don't get me wrong you know i mean let's get myself to the uh you know i mean it's it's got some really nice sort of i mean she hasn't put a great deal on it yet but you know it's it, all this business have been able to sort of move things around and i don't know it's it, it just feels nice build quality is lovely you know i really do like it a lot um the you know the whole magnetic thing with charging and these lights on the back and it's you know it, it really is a nice piece of equipment um you know yeah i believe it was uh was it tim cook who said um that if you had a, all of these in a load of these in a room the they've all got the foot tapping at the same time can't get that to actually focus at the minute come on there you go you know apparently that foot taps at the same time on all of them if you had a load of them in a room together which i find quite impressive in itself but uh, you know and the whole um, you know when it's it's dead like that but then you go like that and it lights up sort of thing you know the power saving functions it's you know it's just it seems a lot of money to spend on a watch just like that and i think that's the thing it's not so much spending that much money on a watch because i've done it before you know and i suppose if i didn't already have that expensive watch sat there i'd be more inclined to buy one of these i suppose is that what i'm trying to say i don't think it's a lot of money necessarily to spend on a watch it's a lot of money to spend on something that electronically could be defunct in no time at all you know yes it already doesn't do some stuff that others do but it also does other stuff that others don't do themselves so you know it's it's six and two threes i think as an apple fan which my daughter is same as i am that's why she got one uh she was actually looking for another fitness tracker anyway um she she's used a few because she's she is into her fitness um so from that point of view you know it's um i think it's i think she made a fair purchase really you know she what like i say she was looking for another fitness tracker you know she's already been doing some of her activity stuff on here you know um you, know, you can see that she's been i think she's been in, done a workout or a walk or something or other or she's i think she's been on a run actually or something or other like that so but yeah you know it's uh yeah that's her there we go active calories and total steps and what have you so um you know i mean i probably wouldn't use that part of it so much myself um i just i just don't see me doing it i really don't 
but um, you know it's like I say it's uh, it's, it's going to be horses for courses you'll e you'll either you'll either get you get yourself one of these to go with along with all the rest of your apple kit or you won't that's the way I see it but um, no I really like it so you know I'm not going to buy one this time round I'm pretty certain of that you know if the wife suddenly uh, sort of got me one and said here I bought your present sort of thing you know I'd, I'd accept it gratefully you know I ain't got a problem with wearing one at all but I wouldn't go out and buy one just for the sake of having one right now uh, maybe next generation if it's if it sort of does a bit more you know and makes it it's got to give you that little bit more to make you want to spend that kind of money and I would have probably also look, be looking for something more dressy so I would be looking at more like the stainless steel with a link strap or something like that which of course is you know you get up near to the rounds of a thousand pound then so from that point of view yeah you know it's it's not looking quite such a hot deal but um yeah i mean leave your comments underneath guys i mean i know you know it's an issue of pretty big debate at the minute the apple watch so um yeah i'd like to see some comments underneath you know tell me what you think uh and you robert cooper i already know what you think <laughs> so um yeah leave your comments underneath guys and uh i'll catch you in the next video okay cheers guys see ya